I'm Andy Bailey with the National Weather Service here in Pleasant Hill. Uh, this is our operations area. On a typical day shift, we have anywhere from two to three people working, looking at the weather, forecasting in short-term, mid-term, and long-term weather. Uh, during severe weather, we'll ramp up staffing quite a bit and have anywhere from eight to 14 people in our operations area. We divide up the tasks uh, uh, in a lot of different ways. We have a couple of people that will do nothing but look at the radar data. We've got a few people that uh, are looking at the real fine scale details of the weather and they'll be briefing the radar operators just to give them an idea of what they should expect and how the storm should evolve uh, later in the day. Uh, we've also got several people working on various communication methods because that's a really important aspect of our warning operations is the communication. Uh, we can issue the best warning in the world but if we can't communicate it to the key decision makers and the media it, it's not going to be any good. So we've got video chat that we're using, uh, we've got shortwave radio systems, we've got ham radio, we've got numerous telephone lines, all that to uh, have two-way communications both with emergency managers, the media, and our spotter networks out there.